Welcome to the world of Six Sigma. Hi friends, how are you doing? I am MBV Mohit Sharma and today I am going to share a case study on DMA DV methodology. I have been receiving requests to create videos on this type of case study. So let's get started and learn how DMA DV methodology can be used in designing new products, new processes, new training modules and anything that is to be created new. DMA DV stands for define, measure, analyze, design and verify the design. In today's example, we will help the university to create a training module to train faculties of engineering department. In one of the international universities, the management found the need to create a new training module for engineering faculties. This task was assigned to a Six Sigma Black Belt team to create a new training module. The first step is to create a project charter where business case, problem statement, goal statement, scope of the project, timelines and team charter are created. Further, details of the timelines can be created by using a Gantt chart like it is shown in this example. Scope of the project is engineering department and rest of the departments like BBA, MBA and medicine are out of scope. We have chairman as the project sponsor and vice chairman as champion of the project. And the goal is to create a new training module which equip the faculties with latest teaching techniques and skills by October 31st. Team created Army Chart to define the roles and responsibilities of all the stakeholders in each phase of the project. Team also wanted to finish the project on time, so they created a communication plan where they decided to update the stakeholders on the project's progress through different team meetings and via different modes of communication like email update or a face-to-face -face update. In the major phase, the first step is to identify the requirements to be checked. This can be done by brainstorming with the industry experts or by checking what is latest being used in the education industry. Create functional and dysfunctional questions. A functional question would be like, how do you feel if you are taught using electronic medium like iPad? and a dysfunctional question is a negative question for the same requirement. Like in this case it would be, how do you feel if you are not taught using electronic medium like iPad? In this case the customers of the process are students. Then you roll out the survey to get the response of the students on this survey. Later following Kano analysis you can identify whether it is a basic expectation, satisfier or a delighter requirement for the customer. So while creating the training module, these requirements can be kept in their respective order of priority. Then we create the Kano model and we place the use of electronic medium like iPad and use of electronic boards as basic expectations. Use videos and online assignments as satisfiers and print out of notes from electronic boards as delighters. Then we move into the analyze phase and the first thing is to create the quality function deployment in which the customer requirements are studied and how the project team is going to meet these requirements are prioritized. I have separate videos on Kano model and QFD on my channel. I will include the links in the description box below. The next thing is to study the contradiction analysis. All the CTQs studied with each other and it is figured out if there is any contradiction in the two CTQs then a trade-off is to be done. If all the CTQs complement each other, then we go ahead and create the new training module. In this case, all the CTQs complement each other and hence team is progressing further. To understand contradiction analysis and trade off design, let us take an example of a car. In a car, mileage and speed are two CTQs. If we increase the mileage, speed is impacted and if we increase the speed, the mileage is impacted. So there is a trade-off between the two CTQs and a line is drawn. Like car can attain a mileage of 15 km per litre and speed of 60 km per hour in 0 to 10 seconds. In the design phase, create an extensive plan and design the entire training module. Some of the most important things should be headed by the respective leads and they should see the proper execution of those that it should happen. Other important things that are done in design phase are to identify the failure modes of the new process or product with the help of FMEA diagram. If you are creating a product then design FMEA and if you are creating a new process then process FMEA is to be done. Run a pilot and then move to verify stage. 
In verify stage, the new training model is executed and a feedback is sought from students to validate the effectiveness. Data is plotted in the pie chart for different departments in this case. The other important thing in this phase is that you create a control plan, which I have not shown in this case study, but you should definitely create a control plan to control the situation. And if there is a process that you have created, then create a process map as well. So friends, I hope you would have understood what is DMA DV methodology and its implementation during projects. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. I will see you in another important and educative video soon. Till then, take care. Bye.